it's just a mask baby don't don't identify with it there are infinite numbers of masks of masks we just have to not be identified with the mask that we are currently wearing and be able to switch to another mask and play the part of the other mask so that that's what we create for ourselves it's the the problem is that we identify with who we are as of now as a, our present limitation our present struggles we identify with that and we can't let go of them and that's the problem if we would look at them as just masks that we have on and then can take out and put another one then it's easy we can change our world whenever we want this is Ciprian G at the present and precise moment of 7 34 p.m. on the 10th April 2018 documenting step number 37 out of the book steps to knowledge channeled by Marshall Vian Summers baby <laughs> okay step number 37 it's called uh, there is a way to knowledge and I write uh, this is a new and interesting practice it's about writing down which I do in every step anyway uh, the ways that we can get to knowledge uh, to make clearer the state statements which I'm about to write I will use the term consciousness in terms of knowledge for for that's what I understand it to be so uh, I, I think they are in a certain way they are avoiding to call it consciousness in this book so they instead call it knowledge uh, just to appeal more maybe to a more um, male brain sided kind of kind of persons I guess people uh, that's why consciousness will be a little bit too so spiritual and wouldn't attract many people but eventually the way they do talk about knowledge for me it's it's not a doubt it's certainly consciousness I mean it's the same term they just prefer to use knowledge so that's why I will actually use uh, consciousness instead of knowledge because I mm, I feel better with the term I think knowledge can be a little bit confusing I think anyway so to get to consciousness then well we already are there uh, just a different just at different degrees of quantity and quality the way for us to get to limitless consciousness is to steal ourselves and dwell in the feeling of i amness with a concentration slash focus that is able to not waver to any other feeling thoughts or sensations and this has been the first practice it's been two 15 minutes practice periods uh, no meditation no meditation just just thinking about the ways to get to knowledge or consciousness depending on how you want to call it so what do I want what do I I'm trying to say here well we already all are all conscious so therefore we already are with knowledge but as i say there's different levels of i mean each of us is at different levels of uh, degrees and quality of consciousness so to get to limitless consciousness which is the ever-present formless i amness that we usually are that we infinitely are 
uh, instead of these conceptions that we make of ourselves, these limitations we, we we impose. I mean, that's the play, that's the fun of it. But still, what we essentially are is that limitless and voidless I amness, consciousness, awareness of being. Uh, so uh, with uh, with enough con concentration and focus, one which does not waver, but uh, we can just you know we can just focus on the I amness and let everything and ignore everything else. And once we do that and uh, retract our attention from the physical senses or from any other kind of sense. Uh, and just focus on that I amness, then we can uh, get and feel that infinite power of I, I amness. Pretty good, pretty good. To gain consciousness, which means to be more aware, we must live in the present tense, in the only time that is now, abide in the present. So, uh, yeah, how, how did that uh, Zen quote go? The normal people, uh, the enlightened master, when he peels potatoes, he is peeling po potatoes. He is not anywhere else. So uh, that just means that in whatever you do, be present in the present moment. And that is to be conscious more conscious yeah consciousness means to be aware of that which we are experiencing the realization of being and having been in a state that is now exteriorized in what we perceive as external and physical uh, I guess I, I do go into this topic uh, a lot in the late in, in these steps, probably in the few next steps to come as well and probably for the rest of them. But that's because it's something that will essentially save all of ourselves from more from more illusions. So, yeah. Um, so yeah. When we get to consciousness and to a higher degree of it and higher quality, we understand that what we perceive, what we are experiencing, it's indeed not caused by exterior events, but by a state in which we abide dead at some point. Very true to me. To get to knowledge means to realize the causation of all manifestation that ever took or will take place. To get to knowledge means to realize the causation of all manifestation that ever took or will place, take place. And there's no other causation other than consciousness itself. Consciousness being limitless, voidless and shapeless, whenever we assume, since we are consciousness, uh, what we assume to be, that, that is what we, we, we that was, is what we command consciousness to take the shape of in matters of exterior appearances experiences so uh, whatever we claim ourselves to be that is what consciousness will exteriorize for us to be with knowledge is to be aware of the fact that whatever we pe perceive ourselves to be is a mask that we put onto our eternal and infinite father which is consciousness god but we are not the mask. We are one with our father. Uh, that's, that's probably the most important thing I've wrote there because it's, I mean, not the most important, but the one that I've laid out in a most clear manner, 
I, I think it's really clear for me what I'm trying to say there. Uh, so, um, uh, essentially, we are that limitless, I amness, voidless, and shapeless. That is what our foundation being is. And whatever we claim ourselves to be is the mask which we put on, the restraint, uh, the condition that we, that we put upon that foundation of whom we are. And uh, that's what everybody does. Everybody is going around uh, wearing a mask, but essentially, fundamentally, we are all that fundamental consciousness, which is doing this play of life, perceiving itself to be, to be things. I perceive myself to be young and, I don't know, hungry for knowledge. That is what is getting externalized. I perceive to have found God and that is what is getting externalized for me. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a mask, baby. Don't, don't identify with it. There are infinite numbers of masks. Of masks. We just have to not be identified with the mask that we are currently wearing and be able to switch to another mask and play the part of the other mask so that that's what we create for ourselves. It's the, the problem is that we identify with who we are as of now, as a, our present limitation, our present struggles, we identify with that and we can't let go of them. And that's the problem. If we would look at them as just masks that we have on and then can take out and put another one, then it's easy. We can change our world whenever we want. That is repentance, the art of repentance is to not condemn yourself for that which you have allowed and uh, be able to not to just take the mask off that you are wearing and put another one on the one which you want to externalize if you are i don't know uh, ill with some sickness that is a mask which you have put upon yourself because you choose to or probably because I mean nobody chooses that but we get we get a lot of suggestions and we accept those suggestions from outside sources instead of taking the only suggestion that matters and it's our own suggestion so um, just take, take off the mask baby take off the mask and put a new one on act the new mask and it will bear fruit 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 you get what i mean really really interesting step i enjoyed it very much i think that's all i had to say it's been quite a long video actually so it's enough uh, <clears throat> but yeah this has been Chiprian g documenting step number 37 out of the book steps to knowledge Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate that. And uh, yeah, baby, check some other stuff of mine, obviously, because it's really enlightening, baby. Enlightening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. This has been Chip and I'm out, baby. Bam. <laughs>